All right, let's take a trip in the Fox 5 Wayback Machine. See if you can remember some of these fun facts. This year, 1978, Ed Koch is mayor. A subway token costs 50 cents, and the West Bank Cafe serves its first customers. But now, as Fox Eyes Jessica Formosa shows us, the Hell's Kitchen staple and its Lori Beachman Theater, a favorite of comedy icon Joan Rivers, are in jeopardy of closing. We are a pillar in the neighborhood. Uh, as Lewis Black, our playwright in residence, once said, we've, we've created a place to fail. A few days ago, Steve Olson, owner of the West Bank Cafe and the Lori Beachman Theater, was set on closing his doors for good after 46 years. But things changed overnight. The theater community jumping in to save the iconic venue. There's hope. I was out of hope, and now I'm renewed that, you know, there's a possibility we can pull this off. This New York City steeple hasn't been able to bounce back from the pandemic. Our business keeps going up dramatically every year. But we haven't been able to catch up with the old debt that's hanging for the last couple of years. Olson says as soon as they announced they were closing, business quadrupled, and that's exactly what we saw. A neighborhood, a restaurant, a theater. The Lori Beachman Theater is in the basement of the West Bank Cafe. It's known for its experimental performances, from plays to musicals to cabaret, comedy and drag shows, launching the careers of many actors, comedians, producers, and writers. Aaron Sorkin started here, Warren Light, John Patrick Shanley, so many incredible artists, so many writers who have gone on to win Tonys and Pulitzers and had their work performed all over the place, started on this stage. Comedian Louis Black not only performed on the stage numerous times, but he ran the theater at one point, and the late Joan Rivers had her final show right here. Tony nominee Joe Iconis and producer Tom D'Angora are fighting for the legendary spot in the theater world to remain open. I really got my start here. They, along with their colleagues, have set up a GoFundMe trying to raise $1 million. This isn't the first time they're putting up a fight. During the pandemic, they helped raise a quarter of a million dollars to help the West Bank Cafe through the pandemic. The last time was an emergency. We were surviving. This time, we're fixing all the problems, looking towards the future, and thriving. So many dining here want the same thing. Actress Melissa Gilbert and her husband, actor Timothy Busfield, say this is their spot. We've watched multiple generations of people come through, and to have that end and to, to feel that is gone would be such a void. I'm romantic about what we do. I love it, and this is an institution. Tom, Joe, and the crew are planning a number of events next month, including fundraisers and a gala right here at the West Bank Cafe. They're doing everything they can to keep the doors open, and they are confident they will pull it off. In Hell's Kitchen, I'm Jessica Formoso, Fox 5 News.